The boys geared up and set off from Springfield on day number five, their last in Missouri. With two states down and six to go, they set their sights on Kansas. Route 66 only claims between 11 to 13 miles of pavement in the Sunflower State. But what Kansas lacks in mileage, they make up for in spirit. Rolling across the border into Oklahoma, Chad and Big F toured the local sites, contended with a few detours, and enjoyed Fred's first Sonic Burger, before retiring for the night in Tulsa and some poolside relaxation. Setting off on day six, with another state behind them, Chad and Fred departed Tulsa en route to Oklahoma City. Stopping along the way to render some roadside assistance, and for a quick tour of Seba Station and their world-renowned motorcycle museum. The remote sections of Route 66, traversing central Oklahoma, are sparsely traveled and rarely maintained, much to Fred's chagrin. And after a week in the saddle, the miles were starting to take their toll. So in an effort to lighten the mood, Chad decided to indulge one of Fred's more unique requests. Of everything that we've seen so far along Route 66, nothing has gotten Dad more excited than the Dollar General store. I've instructed Dad to walk up and down every single aisle so he can feel satisfied that we have checked Dollar General off our list. He's truly living the dream, the, the Route 66 dream that so many people never get to realize. Dad is the proud owner of some new Dollar General gloves. Look at those bad boys. Let's see your new gloves, Dad. After realizing his lifelong dream of visiting the Dollar General, the boys decided to celebrate at Pop 66 Soda Ranch, home of the world's largest soda bottle and some unusual flavors. After dodging rush hour in Oklahoma City and a quick stop in Yukon, the boys settled down in Weatherford for their last night in Oklahoma and more poolside shenanigans. Here he goes. <laughs> hey, you have applause. You got applause from your fans. <laughs> Where do I get some ice? Some ice? Ice. Ice? You want a bag of ice? We are in Weatherford, Oklahoma. We're about a thousand miles down and probably about 1,500 more to go. And uh, last night, Dad was uh, 
expressing his reservations about continuing on the actual Route 66. Some of the sections are a little rough, and I guess uh, in those rougher sections, he's not too comfortable back there on the back of the bike. We were discussing our options last night at dinner. Uh, he hasn't given me a definitive answer, but uh, you know, this is his trip and I'm just the pilot, so I will keep you apprised of the situation. Peace out. The boys departed Weatherford, unsure of what the day would bring, but after ample ice, a good night's rest, and cooler temperatures forecasted for the day, Big F decided to give it another go. Rolling into Clinton, they stopped for a quick tour of the Oklahoma Route 66 Museum before pushing off for Elk City and the National Route 66 Museum just an hour down the road. Two museums down, with Texas in their sights, Fred was all smiles. Rolling into Texola, a territorial ghost town on the Texas-Oklahoma border, the guys stopped to visit a single-cell jailhouse built in 1910, where things got real Texas real quick. Officially in the Lone Star State, the boys celebrated with a chocolate malt in Shamrock at the U Drop Inn. With four states down and four to go, the boys headlocked their way across the panhandle and through the bug ranch before jumping on the motorway en route to Amarillo and a Texas-sized steak. All right, well, like they say, everything is bigger in Texas. Here we are at the big Texan steakhouse and brewery, I might add. Hey, Dad, say hi. What? Say hi. You gonna have a steak? I don't know, sure, I probably. Probably? Okay, sounds good. That's a solid probably. The boys persevered and had their best day yet. After rousing from their beef coma, Chad and Big F hit the road and descended upon Cadillac Ranch, arguably Route 66's most famous landmark, where Fred made his contribution to the modern art movement. After the Cadillac Ranch and just short of the New Mexican border, the boys stopped at Adrian, Texas, the midway point of Route 66. 1,139 miles to Los Angeles, 1,139 miles to Chicago. How you feeling? How's it feeling? Yeah, how do you feel? Yeah? Yep. Overjoyed? Uh, well, I'm glad, you know. You're glad? I'm not overjoyed. Though. You're not overjoyed, but you're glad? Okay, well, I'll take that. With that, Chad and his glad dad went to the Midway Point Cafe for a BLT and a cold soda. After lunch and a quick stop in the ghost town of Glen Rio, the boys finally made it to my home state. Five states down and three to go. After a stop in Tucumcari and touring the Blue Hole in Santa Rosa, the boys hit the old Pecos Trail heading north. En route to the Santa Fe Trail and its namesake city, high in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. But the altitude, combined with a long day in the saddle, proved too much for Fred, 
who collapsed in the streets soon after their arrival. But now you don't like the way that I'm living. You just leave this New Mexico cowboy alone. But now leave 